I am truly grateful to be standing here before you for many reasons, but mostly because I am aware that not everyone is as fortunate to have this opportunity. Education is a privilege as much as it's a right, and today I'm going to share with you three stories about opportunities that impacted and shaped my life and led me to this moment. Coming from an immigrant family, going to college was a big deal. I remember the smile that rose across my grandmother's face the day that I'd explained to her that I was going to college. She felt at ease knowing her granddaughter would not endure the same conditions of poverty that defined her life growing up in rural Somalia during the 1930s. When I was seven, my grandmother explained to me how she learned to read and write at the age of 38. She expressed to me how disconnected and ostracized she felt from the world. In her stories, I could feel her pain. The day my grandmother picked up her first pencil and wrote her name, my grandmother realized the power between her fingertips. At the age of 38, my grandmother was given an opportunity. The second story I will share with you took place one year later, when I was eight years old. My second grade class took us on a day trip to Suffolk University in Boston. I remember feeling nervous and scared that day. You see, the concept of your education continuing after high school was not known to me. As I looked around this huge campus trying to better understand my surroundings, I was suddenly overcome with fear. So having these strong emotions running through me, I ran up to my teacher and asked her, what is college and are backpacks optional? <laughs> she laughed. She took me aside to explain that college isn't something mandatory, like elementary school or middle school, but that college was something you attended if you wanted. As she continued to explain what college was, I felt a shift within myself. I no longer felt scared, but instead I felt hopeful about my future. At eight years old, I'd realized I had an opportunity. The last story I'm going to share with you happened when I was 20 years old. I had the opportunity to go back to Somalia. For a girl who often lets fear control her, this was a bold move. For some reason, I felt brave and ready to conquer whatever that was awaiting me. But when I arrived, I was faced with challenges I had to confront. I'd realized I'd become comfortable and complacent in the life I had set up in America. In Somalia, I was surrounded by people who were fearless in the face of danger because they knew that life was too short to live in fear. There had been many times I'd given up or avoided important moments because I was afraid. What a shame, I thought while I was there, that I had let such privileges slip through my fingers. Opportunities that the people I was with would have never abandoned. So when my uncle approached me with the chance to watch a live studio production of the evening news, I understood that a once in a lifetime opportunity was at my doorstep. Minutes into watching the production, I found myself falling in love with the idea of reporting. It was a crucial moment that crystallized my goal to become a journalist and inspired me to take every chance I could to get there. Looking back, I cannot believe I had come to this conclusion in Somalia of all places. Had I been raised there like my grandmother, the goal of becoming a journalist or having any aspirations would have never crossed my mind. Being able to dream like this is a luxury. At 20 years old, I understood the weight of my opportunities. When I arrived in the States, I enrolled as a communication major at USM 
and found myself feeling fearless in this new environment due to the support I was receiving from faculty and peers. I partook in friendly debates at the Student Diversity Center while playing Ladu. I went, to, I went on to have a podcast at WMPG where I got to interview refugees in Portland. I was able to study abroad and meet people from all over the world. All these opportunities at USM helped me realize that I was part of a community and drove my love for journalism and reporting deeper. My fellow graduates, if you are like me, a first generation college student, you understand the rarity of opportunities. All of us know that opportunities surround us, but sometimes they are not so obvious. They can be silent. At times we are blind to them, and other times we cannot make sense of them. But one thing is for sure, we all need to be ready to receive the opportunities to come. Understanding the silent yet powerful opportunity that my grandmother, my sweet Ayeyu, was given at 38 impacted my childhood, impacted my childhood as it made me realize my privileges at just seven years old. Going on that trip to Suffolk and becoming aware of the educational opportunities available to me after high school made me a young girl who comes from a low-income family, hopeful. Being in Somalia for many months opened my eyes to the responsibilities I have to leverage my opportunities for the betterment of others. As a journalist, I know it will fall on me to be the voice for the voiceless. My fellow classmates, we often think of opportunities as a way of moving ourselves forward but they also enable us to be helpers. True opportunity is the chance to better ourselves every day so that we can become more useful to our communities. So before I go, let me leave you with this. Allow the opportunities that led you to this day play a role in helping you serve those in need. Be that teacher who empowers children who come from low-income family. Be that nurse who works 16 hours but still serves their patients with pride. Be that social worker who relieves the pain of mental health issues. Be that performer who eases stress away. Be that speech pathologist who acknowledges the importance of patients. Be that journalist who understands the value of truth. But most of all, be someone who recognizes that opportunities do not come knocking twice. So when opportunity does come, you answer it on the first knock. You swing that door wide open and you face whatever awaits you. Thank you and congratulations USM class of 2020. Yay. Oh. oh my.